Sup all, JC3 here, the baller of YouTube, the general. Welcome to Topic Tackle. My take for today is on if Adidas took a literal step back with the Harden Volume 3. If you can remember back to earlier in the year, I did a video on why Harden left Nike for Adidas, and I also went over the Harden Volume 2 model in an unboxing video. Go ahead and check those out after this one if you could. And also, please leave a thumbs up on this video. I appreciate all the love on the last one, and that motivates me to continue pumping out solid content. Leave your feedback in the comments down below, and whether you agree or disagree, feel free to voice your opinion. Upon the commencement of the NBA season, Adidas officially released the Harden Volume 3 to the public, advertising this iteration under the slogan of Slow Down Fast. Per Rashad Williams, Senior Director of Basketball Footwear at Adidas, he isn't the biggest, not the fastest, not the strongest, but his ability to slow down actually makes him one of the fastest players in the league. He can keep his opponents off balance, which allows him to create all the space he needs to get his shot off. The company ran with the Creating Space theme for one of the first two colorways called the Cosmos, to symbolize how Harden creates space between himself and defenders with his unorthodox game. Tech specs include a textile upper with synthetic overlay, four foot lace band for lockdown, and a thin layer of boost for responsiveness. Now, allow me to give my informed personal opinions on this model. They took a step back, literally. I tried to like the aesthetic of this shoe for a long time, y'all like, don't get it, I tried. The Drew League colorway almost got me with that light blue outsole, but the one area that kept me from buying in was the prominent three stripe branding on the back lateral side. This was one of Harden's strengths of his first two models, minimal branding. I have no problem with the three stripes being sported on an Adidas shoe, but the placement and look of them does matter. The Harden Volume 1 nailed this by placing them near the heel counter, the Volume 2 also nailed it by placing them on on the lateral side of the toe box. The Volume 3's placement of the stripes make it look like a budget model. Seriously, look at the identical stripes on the Volume 3 compared to the Mad Bounce 2018, which is currently sitting on Adidas website at $50. It's just not a good look. I mean, you're gonna take a prominent aesthetic feature from a budget model and display it on a higher price signature model. That's no swag. Let's get to performance. The Harden Volume 3 features the thinnest boost ever in his line, and although it isn't mostly caged like the Volume 1, having this thin of boost material basically defeats the purpose of it. I get it if Harden was focused on responsiveness over cushioning, then you go with bounce. But boost is supposed to be responsive, yet plush and great for impact protection. And when it is drastically thinned out compared to the Volume 2, he loses a lot of cushioning. Also, Adidas completely went away from the forge fiber, which did a great job of locking down the toe box on the Volume 2. It is composed of TPU threaded strands that are molded onto the upper through heat. These strands lock the foot in during cuts, and from personal experience, the material works great. On the Volume 3, they say the four-foot lace band assists in lockdown, but I beg to differ. The band isn't even adjustable, it's simply there for looks. So what's my conclusion? The Volume 1 was the best aesthetically, the Volume 2 was the best performer, and the Volume 3 is, well, nothing special. For a shoe following Harden's MVP campaign, I expected Adidas to come out with something a bit more advanced and futuristic. The Volume 1 contained a toe box with leathers suede or mesh, and some crazy colorways came out of it. The Volume 2 was definitely a love-hate model aesthetically, and it did carry extra weight in the rounded heel, but it grew on me. I saw Adidas taking a chance, creating something unlike anything else on the market. The Volume 3 doesn't bring anything new to the table. When I see the lace band, I see an inferior version of the Nike PG 2.5. When I see the three stripes, I see the mad bounce. Harden took a step back instead of forward, but hey, isn't that what he always does in game? So let me know what you think in the comments down below. Is the Harden Volume 3 a step back or step forward? Remember to subscribe like, leave your feedback in the comments down below. We'll be back with more Topic Tackle coming soon. JC3, out!